the boot. Let's get over there. We won't have to look no further. I am in the yard. They was data red. You spoke the truth, Sheriff Deb. There ain't no doubt about it. Quite a big wet place, Okie Pinoki. I'll say she is thirsty. 700 miles or nothing. 700 miles ain't gonna see high in the hair of me, Marty. Come on, let's get out of here. It'll soon be dust dark. We can't get lost in Sheriff Tim, not as long as we can keep sight of that cross. Yeah, uh, maybe not, Tim, but I can get mighty nervous. Come on, shove her off, Marty. Let's get you ever married an old man like me? You ain't no old man. Well, I wish you wouldn't go fox hunting all the time. Always going off with them dogs at dust dock and leave me to stay here alone. And I've been doing it ever since I was old enough to own a dog. Just can't change us swamp folks. Look at Ben, that dog of his. I get lonesome. Why, I told you your sister could come and live with us. It ain't my sister I'm lonesome for. Going trapping, son? No, sir. My dog ain't back. I'm going at him. Come here, Ben. Yes, sir. You be careful and keep clear of that swamp. How am I going to keep clear of Oka Pinocchio, sir? That's where my dog is. You heard me, son. When are you coming back, Ben? When I find that fool dog, Miss Hannah. You'll be back here by tomorrow night and keep clear of that swamp like I told you. You know where I got to go, sir, to find my dog. You'll be back here by tomorrow night or not at all. Ben. Well, sir, I'll, I'll try to get back. Don't dog. try! Get back! Now, that's the way you want to act. I don't care whether I get back or not. That's come up to you! Ben! I'm Miss Hannah. You ain't never been that hard-minded, Adam Thursday. You ain't never headed for that swamp before, neither. You've been like a second mother to him, Hannah. Sure, you know how I feel. Sure, I know. Woman don't need no telling. Oh, you men folk is, you're afraid to let on to each other how you feel. Hello, Ben. Howdy, Mabel. My goodness, you look like a thundercloud. Oh, I just had a big fight with my father. Well, what if a four? My dog's lost it. Oh, well, that's nothing to fight about. We fit about my going to get him. Oh, Ben. Well, what are you laughing about? <laughs> I got a right to get my dog, ain't I? Well, don't fight with me about it. Go get your dog if you want. That's what I aim to. Ben. I guess you are upset. Oh, 
I've got old trouble on my mind. Well, for heaven's sakes, go look for him, then. That's just what I'm going to do. Give me a box of 12-gauge shells, Marty. Who's the winner, Dave? Well, it's kind of give and take. Hmm. Let's guess that old mule of yours is getting pretty lame, ain't she? Yeah, she's got a nail in her foot. If I ever get down, I'm going to pull it out. You got time to work on me a little? I'll get down. Why are you heading for her, Ben? Okie for nokey. You say you're going into that swamp? Yes, sir, I gotta find my dog. You mean you're going in alone? Unless you want to go with me. No, not me. Hot <laughs> <laughs> dang, I can just see you sashaying into that swamp, Ben. Yeah, then come hauling tail out of there with a bull gator snapping at your britches. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't afraid of no swamp. No, neither was them two trappers we was looking for yesterday. <laughs> no. What you trying to do? Oh, I just want to see if your hat would fit me, son. That's all we're ever going to find of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, doggone that sea house cat. Seems like she throws a lily every time I turn my back. Say, Marty, I'll tell you what we'll do. Uh -huh. You give us a bottle of that red whiskey, and Bud and me will put all them cats in one sack and take them down and throw them in a creek for you on our way home. Sure will. Be dog if he ain't made a deal. Touch him. Get the sack. Hurry up, Bud. Yellow hyena. Kitty, kitty, perk. Right behind that barrel. Move it. Don't let him get away. No, he ain't here. Bobby, go, go. Where can he go? He went over there someplace. He's over there, Mike. Ah, he must have gone through the floor. Here he is. Give me that cat. Ow! You, young'un. Get your back. You look at me? Why don't you let her have it, Marty? Aw, oh, give him the cat, you. Maybe we ought to put you in that croaker sack, you little fighting cat. Work over that bottle of red eye, Marty. Come on. Hurry up. <laughs> oh. Ben? If you aim to wrestle them bull gators in that there swamp, you'll need a swallow of this. No thanks, bud. It might taste a cat's. Huh? Ben! <laughs> ben! <laughs> I go for it. Cold out crazy about that dog, bless Katie, if he ain't. Can't nobody stop him now.
trouble. What are you sorry, bud? Sorry you give me that lick on the head? I'm mighty sorry you turned out to know I'm Tom Kiefer. You come at me? No. No, I come at my dog, that's all. I didn't even know you was a hiding in Oka for Noki. Old Sheriff Jeb figured you got away to Savannah after you escaped. If you was to let me take my dog and go, Give you my word, I would never tell nobody. I don't expect I could do that. You wouldn't never find your way out of here anyways. You could tell me how to get out, couldn't you? I don't expect I could. I 
reckon I, I know what happened to them trappers now. He was cotton mouth bit. I found him dead, all swole up. I buried him up yonder. What's your name, bud? Ben. Ben Reagan. Thursday Reagan's boy. Thursday was on the jury that tried to get me hung. Well, why don't you go ahead? You had killed one man, ain't you? I figured I'd cut the throat of anyone come at me. You ain't gonna do it? But you're an okie for Noki for good, bud. If I was to let you go back, you'd tell it on me first thing. Not if I said I wouldn't. Your word don't mean nothing to me. Not when we're living a hanging is dependent on it. find your way out in this swamp now. That's what me is showing you. Sure proud to have me a dog like that. You ain't got him yet. We'll get out, keep her about to bash you in the head when you ain't looking. Bud, there ain't no man living can catch me when I ain't looking. Don't you move, Keeper. I told you I'd get you. Now get in that boat. Take me out of this swamp. I dropped that knife for purpose, bud. I figured it was time to learn your lesson. Get moving! I hope I didn't hurt you, man. I tried to throw you easy like. You don't need to do me no favors. Next time, I'll, I'll kill you and get out by myself. I never seen no one so butt-headed. You're a good man, bud, but you've got to give it up now. You're in here for life. Reckon you got plenty to think about. Jeff Collins with a load of buckshot in his heart. Like a that. Sometimes I get to thinking about my poor girl. What's going to happen to her? You mean to say you got a woman outside the swamp? I had me the finest woman that ever lived. Couldn't be no other woman for me after she died. Not even if I could leave this swamp and live like folks. What you mean, then? I told you. My young'un. That's how come I took to the swamp instead of getting clean away where I could live like folks. Couldn't bear to be that far away from my Julie. Julie? Marty McCord took her in after I was arrested. She does chores and Miss McCord gives her rations and a place to sleep. Well, sure, I seen her. Lately? Sure, I seen that gal, young'un. She doing all right? I reckon so. How come she don't go by the name of Kiefer? If she's your young'un. Ain't a good name to bear, is it? My wife was a Gordon. When they was going to hang me, Miss McCord promised she'd raise Julie by that name. Surely fine woman, Miss McCord. Don't nobody know? Sure. Didn't Thursday never talk about it? Ben, you know there's a lot of fine folks outside this swamp. Most people's a whole lot better than we think they are. And some men's a whole lot worse. What you mean? Who?
Keeper! What's wrong? Man, you cottonmouth bitch. Keeper! Get him now, Lord. There's a dead soul coming. There ain't nobody but Tom Kiefer. But he died without no holler and no cut in the pool. I ain't gonna hold nothing against him, Lord. Even his trying to steal old trouble. So if you want to go easy on him for killing Chef Collins, it'll be all right with me. Amen. to bury you. Looked like I worked all night for nothing. If I let them things kill me, I'd have been dead a long time ago. You got some kind of snake cure? I just make up my mind to get well and think hard on it and maybe do a little praying. I bet I've been caught in mouth bit a dozen times. When I found my, my knife was took, I figured you lit out. No. No, I, I took it to, to cut that snake bite to make it bleed. Thanks. I reckon you can have your gun back if you want it, Ben. You ain't a listener, Miss Hannah. You better go now, Mr. Wick. How come you can't call me Jesse like you used to before you was married? You better go. Well, how come, Miss Hannah? You know how come. Thursday would kill any man he catched here now. He ain't catching me. I'm safe as long as I hear them hounds are banned. He won't come back till they catch their fox. He ain't fox hunting tonight. He's hunting Ben. Got a notion of working his way around the edge of Okafinoki, blowing his horn till Ben will hear it. Thursday holds himself to blame for letting Ben get lost and... Ben don't never come back. I... Reckon it'll just about kill him. Listen. Somebody's coming. Don't run. Ben! Ben! Miss Hannah! I guess you're about to give me up, didn't you? We feared you were dead. <laughs> Howdy, Desi. I was just passing by when she came out to ask if I'd seen you. How come you stayed away so long? We've been worried sick of fear just gator ass. I told you to be back when it got ready, Miss Hannah. Just yesterday got ready. I just happened to be passing by when she came out to ask me if I'd seen you. You've been in that swamp all this time? Yes, and me and that darn fool dog could travel ourselves half to death. I told her I ain't seen nothing of you. I was just passing by. Be sure, Desi. Well, I guess I better be a rambler. Good night, Desi. Hey, you forgot your guitar. Thanks, Ben. I was just passing by. <laughs> you look half starved. I'll get you something to eat. I can sure eat it, Miss Hannah. <laughs> I told you I'd get back, sir, and I found old trouble. 
You took your time about it. Well, no, sir. I come back as soon as I could. I catch me a lot of hide animals. I told you to be back here in two days. And I was lost it. Just getting too biggity. But I'm still a man that can slim you down, you hear me? I might have been dead for all you know. You're just butt-headed, just gonna show me. You wouldn't care no matter what happened to me. How come you think I told you to be right back? To show me who's boss, that's how hey, That's what you think, that's what I aim to show you to. You come here. I'm gonna bite my own father. I know he ain't. You're gonna stand right there and take it. No, I ain't. You listen, I'm my own man now. I ain't gonna do everything you say. Don't be hard. Hard on her. And your man's gonna in Okie for Nokia and not come out. You promised me you wouldn't go near that swamp no more, and I won't romp on you this time. There's more cooning out in that swamp than I've ever seen. I'm gonna go trap in that swamp. Not in the front of this roof with me, Aunt! He's been worrying himself half crazy over you, Ben. Well, he won't have to no more. Please don't go this way. He'll get over it. You ought to see I gotta do it, Miss Hannah. They'd rag for you to go. Your father needs you, Ben. I need you too. I can't tell you why. I'm scared of something here. Ben, I love you like you was my own boy. Don't go leave us. Don't you worry none, Miss Hannah. Marty McCord's got an old empty shack on his place I can get. I reckon it just had to happen so as I could really be my own man. Bye, Miss Hannah. You didn't get mad about it. Here. Yeah. I ain't no place to hide it. But Tom says I'd give it to you. I'd be scared to hold all that. I never had no money. I'll keep it for you till I see what Tom says when I go back into Oka Pinocchio. Is he all right? Is he sick or anything? Tom Keeper? <laughs> Can't nothing hurt him. You better scoot before Marty's wife misses you. You keep your mouth shut, mine. Come on. Kid. Can I straighten up for you? Well, I reckon you can at that. There's one thing I don't get the hang of, it's making up a bed. But don't you let nobody see you running over here. Oh, no, you don't, boy. You stay here. Don't let him out, youngin, or he'll go buck chasing again. Uh, can I feed him? Sure, troubles like me can always eat. Trouble. That's a fine name, ain't it? 
Mabel. 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 Act this way. So I guess this is no way for a nice girl to behave. That's the way I want my girl to behave when I come to see her. Abel, hmm? I got something to tell you. What? I run off from home. You did? Moved into Marty McCord's old shack. Oh, that old place. I aim to fill that shack with hides come winter time. There ain't nobody in this town I'll have to say sir to. I'm my own man now. You're just talking big again. No, I ain't. Get me a saddle horse and a fine hound so I can breed old trouble and raise them little troubles. And not long after that, maybe I'll be around here with a proposition to make you. What kind of a proposition? You'll find out. I'm going into Okafinokia trapping. You never seen it like a hide animals in there. Then you'll lose yourself in that swamp and I won't ever see you again. Oh, no, I won't. Yes, you will. Please don't go in there again. You'll get gate at like those two trappers. Oh, they wasn't gator at. They're snake bit. Man knows way around this country like I do. Sure ain't gonna get snake bit. How come you know they were snake bit? How come you say that? How come? Well, I seen where they's buried. Who buried him? Who could bury him in that swamp? You can ask more daggone questions. You can get mad about it, Ben. Why don't you tell me who's hiding in the swamp? There ain't nobody hiding in the swamp. If you was to find a couple of men that had been caught in mouth bit, you'd bury them, wouldn't you? Well, that's what I done. Only you've got to promise me you won't tell nobody. Why? Because they might try to keep me from going back into Okafinoki. Then my, my trapping would be over and I couldn't make you that proposition, that's why. You know I won't tell nobody, Ben. After all, I got reasons for wanting you to make good, ain't I? Yeah, you sure have. When are you going in the swamp again? Oh, two or three days. Supposing you ain't back for the dance. Well, I'll be back. Yeah, but supposing you ain't. A girl can't settle down to one, Ben. Especially when that one don't show up except when a notion strikes him. Why, well, I told you I'll be back. Better be. Howdy, Ben. Howdy, Tom. And not to be carrying old trouble around the boat with you. Gate will turn over a boat to get out of dog. You ought to leave him here with me. You ain't leaving him nowhere. I take care of him like he was my own dog. Yeah, I reckon you would. Got a present for you here, Mr. C. I believe you'd steal my dog if I was to give you half a chance, Tom. I'd like to, Ben, that's the truth. But I reckon I can't now, seeing as how you're my partner. Another world in here, ain't it? I hear tell that stars is other worlds too. Big, big shining rafts are floating in the ocean at God's night. With living things on every raft, just like there is on this one, they call the Earth. Living alone in these swamps, just like living on another star. This swamp ain't dangerous as I can see, Tom, like they say. If you know what it ain't. But you can get lost and go plain crazy trying to find your way out. And then you gotta know things that live here before you can get along with them. Just like you gotta know people on the outside of the swamp before you can get along with them. Speaking of people outside, Ben, you ain't told me yet how my Julie looks. Well, she looks all right, I reckon. Kinda raggedy. I know how come you could make it out in this swamp without no gun or nothing. 
Of course, you know the Indian ways, ain't it? I hear tell you know a lot about Indians. I used to hunt with a half-breed before my trouble. Indians know the heap of things, Ben. They buried their dogs with them because they figured a dog had a soul just like a man's. I don't see no sense in a thing like that. You say a dog is dead when he dies. I don't see how come that should be. He don't he breathe like you and ain't he got a heart and feelings and a heap of sense? Take a look at this here skeeter trying to get his sticker into my hide. Ain't he got life in him just like me? <laughs> Not now, he ain't. You ain't killed him. His life's just gone somewhere else. But you're so sure you're gonna go on living after you're dead, Tom. What about that man you killed? Ain't you gonna be kind of feared to face Shep Collins up yonder? I never killed Shep Collins. Well, he was shot dead with your own gun, wasn't he? I remember that. And I heard Sheriff Jeb tell how you bashed him in the head and escaped from jail, too, just before he's gonna hang you. Sure. I wasn't gonna hang for something I'd never done. Ain't there no way to make Sheriff Jeb get at the truth? No, Ben. I'm gonna live and die in this old swamp. But I don't mind. If my Julie ain't left to run wild and shift for herself. You're gonna help me take care of her. smile at me, Miss Hannah, like you used to. I waited a long time for Thursdays to go fox hunting. As soon as I heard his dog sounding off, I sneaked over here. The more little foxes they chase, the better I like it. about me this way and about that old man. I ain't worried about you. Thursday could break you in pieces with one hand. I reckon the Dorsons might have something to say about that. Somebody might get killed. Why, well, I seen them once with my own eyes when... You seen what? Never you mind. They don't like Thursday no better than I do. They'd be purely pleased if they had a good reason to do something about it. That's what I'm afraid of. Oh, shucks, Hannah. This ain't no way for us to talk. I'd rather die than quarrel with you. I'm cold out crazy about you, Hannah. You know I am. Go away, Jackie. Go away and don't never come back no more. Hannah, don't go away. Go away. Go away. Leave me alone. about my limp and I asked you who it was. Why, I... You know who it was, don't you? No. No, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? He was here in the house. He had hold of you, didn't he? I don't know. Oh, I didn't reckon for you to lie to me, Miss Hannah. I can't tell you, Thursday. I can't. Oh. 
kind of begin to see. You told him when to come. Oh, no, I never. He just knew This ain't the first time. No. I can't hardly believe it, Miss Hannah. You've got to tell me who it were. I can't do that, Thursday. You've got to do it. I can't. I know what would happen. You'd go at him with your gun. Well, there ain't so many men in this country that can't figure it out for themselves. I wish you'd tell me how you hurt yourself. I can help no. you. No, you can't, Miss Hannah. Yeah. Oh, you was with somebody. I mean, uh, me and my dog. I know you had a smart dog, Ben, but I never heard he could handle a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. No, I ain't certain, Ben, yet. And I ain't neither. That panther ain't nothing, Tim. If you and Bud think you're big trappers, you ought to see the rest of them hides that Ben brung in from the swamp. Why, honest to kitty, he's got that old shack of Marty just plumb full of water skin. He sure has. I declare I never seen the like. Well, you'll see a sight better when we go trapping Okafinoki with Ben. Bud and me's got more traps than you'll ever have. But that won't cut no ice. We'll just share and share alike. How about it? I ain't taking no partners. What you got against us? I'm running my traps alone, that's all. That's all you're telling, you mean? Ah, oh, never mind, Bud. We'll trap that swamp alone and keep the third share for ourselves. It can't be so hard to find your way around in there. Not have you done it. How come you think it took me two weeks to find my way out first time? Even my dog didn't know which way to turn. So you give him your shotgun to tote and you found your own way out, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I wish you would go into that swamp. I just wish you'd try it. I'm thinking you would find a big surprise. Marty, give me a bottle of that red liquor. I want to buy Ben Reagan a drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give him a bottle of that panther water, Marty. Two drinks of that, they'll go into the swamp and wrestle a bull gator. <laughs> yes. Couldn't be nobody but you, Ben. <laughs> Howdy, Mabel. Where you been at so long? Oh, I told you where I was going two weeks ago. Mm. Boy, have you forgot already. Two weeks a long time. I told you to get back for tonight, didn't I? Well, I got us a loan of Marty McCord's horse to take us to the dance tonight. I'm going with somebody else. Well, I told you you better get back. Well, I told you to get back, and here I am. Ben, you ain't the only pebble on the beach. Oh, goodness, you just expect a girl to sit around and wait for you. Well, I waited. Waited, and yesterday when you didn't show up, I said yes. To who? Good friend. You might as well know who. It's Miles Tonkin. Oh, him. Sound mighty jealous to me. Why should I get jealous? I got me or somebody I can take to that dance. All right, get mad about it. Who else can you take? It's all right, who? Ain't no other girls in town that ain't already got a man. I got me or somebody, all right. You're lying, Ben Reagan. You can't get another girl for that dance within a day's horse riding, you know it. Maybe I'll let you dance with me. Oh, if my friend don't mind. I can't make no promises. I'll let you know tonight, Ben. Howdy. Howdy, Mabel. Well, what time you want me to be coming around to take you to the dance tonight, huh? Julie. Hello, Ben. Ed McCord? Pretty dress? Well, it's a beautiful dress. How much? It's a dollar and a half. Well, I want it.
fourth Thursday if we ain't gonna dance. You keep on coming, Miss Hannah, till you point him out. All right. I'll know who it was when I see him. Hardly know, Joe. She looks kind of pretty in that pink dress. Hello, Julie. Hello, Dan. Hello, Joe. That's a mighty pretty outfit. Come on back, Julie. Sure look kindly perk, Julie. How come you're here, young'un? My brother, Marty. Oh, badly. Howdy, Mabel. Keepers, young'un? Yes, sir. I brung her to this dance, and I ain't gonna have nobody running her down. I don't aim to have words with none of McKinnon in public. I mean no offense against this young'un, but you're the one that seemed ashamed to say her name, not me. Don't quarrel with him, Ben. He ain't himself. He's just mad because I won't take his bossing, that's all. Oh, no, Ben. You go cool off outside and leave us women folk together. tongue and a cussing out. You ain't felt my tongue yet, Ben. No way to talk. I suppose Miles Tonkin wouldn't talk like that. No, he wouldn't. He's a gentleman. No. Oh. Well, why don't you get back in there and do -si do with him so I can dance with my girl? <laughs> Look, chap. Yeah. You leave me alone! Leave her alone, Ryan! Guess he won't bother you no more. <laughs>
started this ruckus, anyhow. He didn't been with just arguing. <laughs> Mouth didn't have no call to come button in. He fit for you. He can have you. Take him in. I got a good idea what you're up to. You get on home. <laughs> Ben? Hardy, you go on back to the dance. Miles talking. I wish I'd come out sooner. I'd have kicked him. I reckon he ain't to blame. Now I know why he took me to the dance, I guess. Mabel Mackenzie's your girl. Not anymore, she ain't. Maybe I did so, Julie. But I'm right proud I took you. It's funny, I never noticed. You're a heap pretty and Mabel is. If it was a little bigger. I could grow more, maybe. From now on, I ain't going courting nobody else, Julie. If you've got no objection. I got no objection. I never in my life asked for no kiss. I always just took them. I'm a dog that ain't asking you now, Julie. You mind? I don't mind. Big Ben, didn't it? Yes, Ben. You wait here. Amongst us. It sure does, Tooley. I guess, Katie, if it don't. Howdy, Ben. I reckon that somebody you come to see is out in the kitchen and making us some coffee. I didn't come to see nobody. I heard you always meeting on account of them hog thieves. Don't know nothing about no thieves, Ben. We was aiming to catch us just one of them scoundrels. Hope that Katie there ain't two of them around. Maybe they is. Hot dang it, what you driving at anyway? What do you know about this business, Ben? I got me a good idea they're missing hogs within 10 miles of here. If they ain't been rafted down the river and sold already. If you know so much about it, maybe you had a finger in it yourself. You've been away a lot lately. Yeah, I've been away trapping, like you and Bud. Why, well, I'll... Now, hold on, Bud. You know Ben don't mean nothing. Don't cut the fool, Ben. This ain't no fooling matter. And I'm here to tell you it ain't. You're getting too big for your britches, Reagan. No, no, Bud, Bud. Coffee, Mr. Eddy. 
No, thanks, ma'am. How's your friend getting on in the swamp? Well, why don't you tell Sheriff Jeb who's hiding in the swamp? Might be the hog thief he's looking for. Coffee, Mr. Cook? Thank you, miss. What does she mean? I don't know. We knowed you had somebody in that swamp. Is that right, Ben? That's just the place a hog thief would hole up in Okafinoki. Who's hiding in that swamp, son? Couldn't be, uh, Tom Kiefer, could it, Ben? Tom Kiefer! Oh, she's cold out crazy. Seems to me you're kind of crazy, Ben. Take up with that young and the Kiefer's. I wouldn't have known who was helping you in the swamp if it wasn't for that. They don't if she ain't right. Sure she's right. Now I guess you know where your hog thief is. Them hog thieves is right here on this porch, and you know it. Uh, uh, well, you better shut him up. Look at here, Ben. Is Tom Keefe in the swamp? Answer him, boy. Ask her. She knows so much about it. We done heard from her. Now we asking you. Is it Keefer in that swamp? Listen to me, Ben. Keefer done a murder. Are you sticking by him or by us? He didn't do no murder. Boy, you got to tell us whereabouts Keefer's at. You done figured it out for yourself. Now you go get him. I'm going to get him, boy. But you're going to show us the way. I reckon I'll have something to say about that. I don't think you will. Don't you get in my way, you Dorfman. Don't you get in my way. I am. Either you tell or you're going to get stuck. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come on, Ben. Give up. Make it easy on yourself. Now's the time right. to do it. Only right now we catch that murdering Tom Keeper and we got to have your help. And we aim to have your word for it before we leave here. Well, you sure won't get it. Ain't no use arguing with you. Well, let's put him under. Leave him up, Dawson. Leave him up. You ready to talk? You better say something quick. Say something, Ben. Are you going to say it? You, you can't make me. Well, let's drown the rat. Rest, Kitty, I never see a body so stubborn. Where's everybody? Down at the creek. Stop! You don't... Get that boy out of there! Get away! Get out of the way! You hear me? Get him out. He knows where Tom Keeper's hiding. And where I'm making him tell. Get him out. Get him out. I'm fine. Thursday, we wasn't aiming to harm him now. Get away, all of you!
out of that. Howdy, Miss McCord. Marty here. Things out of here, Ben. I'll bring them to sell, Marty, same as always. Take them out. What's wrong with them hides? I can smell Tom Keefe on them. I figured you as one man wouldn't hold nothing against me. Well, if you aim to have truck with such as Tom Keefe, I aim to sell his hide somewhere else. Where else? Take them to Savannah like I have to. You know I ain't got no way to get to Savannah, Marty. That's too far. Well, you'll have to get them out of here. How am I going to make my living if I can't sell what a trap? Well, that's up to you. My wife says to tell you to clear out that shack, too. I'm fixing to clear out. Marty? Huh? Are you all going fox hunt tonight? Yeah, we are hunting. I'm sure going to miss that dog he owned. Goodbye, Mr. McCord. Sure. I didn't aim to, Julie. If you'd know how to... You didn't have no right to do it. Now they're going to catch him. I hear Sheriff Jeb tell him in the store. Them Dawson's is going to help him. Oh, you. You're worse than that Miles Tonkin. Now you listen to me, Julie. You don't know how I'm it happened. I'm going to speak to you ever again. I'm going to come to the shack no more. I'm going to cook your food or make your bed. No, nothing. I ain't. Now look at here, Julie. Ain't nobody going to catch your father because I ain't going to leave him. Oh, Ben. I ain't never going to believe you again. Never. you got to trust me, Julie. Ain't I always told you the truth? Ain't I keeping your money for you? I ain't gonna touch it. Keep the money and throw it away. I won't never touch it. I was only saving it for him. No, you, you've killed him. No, I ain't neither, I tell you. Julie! There, Helen. That old gray fox is leading them on around now, ain't he? Let's me and you slip and go, irregardless. I stay here at night. Don't reckon you need to wait for no invitation. <laughs> tell you. How come? I couldn't stand it if you got down on me, too. Is it something you've done? Maybe it'll make me feel better if I tell you. Douglas. Ever since then, Thursday don't go nowhere. Just sat around here watching me, waiting for that man to come back. I told him it wouldn't happen no more, but he won't listen. I've been wishing I were dead. I didn't 
you never reckon there was nothing like that, Miss Hannah? I wished I hadn't told you. Thursday? Not Thursday, Jesse. It's me. Oh, Ben. Were you expecting Thursday? Well, why should I? Of course, if you've got anything to say to him, Jesse, I know where you can find him. I ain't got nothing to say to him. Well, maybe he'd have something to say to you. I never done no harm to Thursday. I never done nothing to him. What do you think he'd say if I have to tell him where I found your guitar? Go ahead and tell him. You won't come near me, he'd be afraid. <laughs> he'd just break you in a thousand pieces, that's all. I got friends looking out for me. I guess you know what they do. They gave you a taste of it the other day. Oh, the Dorsons. Yeah, I was forgetting about them. Yes, sir. -y. The Dorsons ain't gonna let nothing happen to me. What are you looking at me that way for? What are you saving that for, Jesse? Eh? Oh. I got lots of things. Yeah, that's right. You was quite a big man at that trial, wasn't you, Jesse? There was only three witnesses, again Tom Kiefer. It was Bud and Tim Dorsen and you. All telling the same story, word for word. Three again one, that right? You only told what we saw. Yeah, maybe you did, and, and maybe you didn't. I know Tom Kiefer. I know he couldn't commit no murder. But you could. And so could Bud and Tim Dorsen. Well, you're crazy, Ben. I, I wouldn't kill a kitten. No, but maybe you didn't. But now I'm beginning to see the light. I'm just now beginning to understand why them Dorsons is always a standing up for you. And why you're always trailing around after their heels. No, no, Ben. There, there ain't nothing like that. You're wrong, Ben. You're wrong. No, I'm not wrong, Jesse. You killed him. Oh, well, the Dorsons done it and you seen him. That's it. Oh, sure, it's just as plain as the look on your face. You're just as guilty as they are, Jesse. And if they hang for it, you're gonna hang too. Don't talk like that, Ben. Don't talk like that. I ain't done nothing. And the only chance for you to save your hide, Jesse, is to tell the truth right now. Oh, I, I can't do that. I, I can't, Ben. But Bud Dorsen would kill me. Bud Dorsen won't kill nobody. You speak your piece and I'll get Tom Keeper to back you up. And then the Dorsons will find themselves at the wrong end of the rope. I can't do it, Ben. I can't do anything like that. All right, Jesse. You just suit yourself. But either you come with me right now to see Sheriff Jeb or I'm taking you to Thursday. You ain't got no other choice. It's Sheriff Jeb or Thursday. And if I was you, Jesse, I'd choose Sheriff Jeb, make a clean breast of the whole thing, and get free of them Dorsons for good and all. All right, come on, it's one or the other. You see, ain't no Dorsons there. I can't do it, Ben, I can't do it. It's too late to back down now. Ain't nobody gonna harm you for telling the truth.
Ben Reagan, what are you doing here? Jesse's got something to tell you, Sheriff Jeb. Then it's purely up to you what I do. Well, go on, Jesse. Don't be as scared. Tell him who killed Chip Collins. What I said in court wasn't true. Julie. Julie, you inside? Go away. You ain't got no right here. Julie, I gotta see you. I don't never want to see you no more. Well, Julie, you don't understand. I'm going in the swamp before daybreak to get your father. You're getting him so, so they can hang him. No, Julie. It ain't what you think. He's coming out for good. I done fixed everything. I made Jesse Wick tell the truth. I wouldn't believe my father when he told the truth. I ain't gonna believe no Jesse Wick. That's why I'm bringing your father out. Sheriff Jeb's got Jesse Wick's affidavit. He can't go back on that. Tomorrow he'll have Tom's. Let me talk to you, Julie. Let me see you. Julie. I'm plumb sure, Julie. And bright and early in the morning, they're going to come and pick you up and take you right in Sheriff Jeb's boat down to meet you, Dad. I'm going to say a word to Tom about you waiting there, Julie. We're going to surprise him. Show him how pretty you grew up to be. We can, we can live on our farm again. Like folks. That's just the way it's going to be, Julie. All Tom's troubles is over. Past and gone and forgotten. You know what he said to me once? He said living in the swamp was like living on another star. And now it'll, it'll be like coming back into the world again. that you could come out free. All you have to do is face them Dorsons and everything's gonna be just like it was before. You ain't one to joke much, are you, Ben? No, Tom, it's a God's truth, you're free. You and Julie gonna live again like folks. You mean I can just up and go out of here? Sure I do. Sheriff Jeb and Marty McCord and him's gonna be waiting at the gator hole out the edge of the swamp. He's a trick in that, Ben. All they wanna do is get their hands on me one way or another. You must be crazy, Tom. My own father will be there. And Hardy and Fred Ohm and John Deacon and Marty McCord, like I told you. I never figured you wouldn't believe me. They talked you into it, Ben. No, they ain't, Tom. I tell you, they done talked you into it. All they want to do is catch me. They was always again me, and they still is. Well, I'm telling you the truth, Tom. I ain't again you, you know that. If I was, I'd have brought them in here, wouldn't I? I wouldn't be taking you out. Maybe so, but... If you're wrong, I'm the one that has to pay for it. You know that. Well, I told you who'd be waiting there, Tom. If their word ain't no good, the word of the Holy Bible ain't, I reckon. It's like being dead all these years. Now you're... A, you're telling me to come back to life again. 
I gotta be alone a minute, Ben. You'll be eating corn off your own farm and roasting one of your own children. Yeah, Julia roasted for me. Do you know Ben? Can she cook? Sure she can. Right good. Say, Ben, tell me. How does she look? Is she pretty? <laughs> well, uh, Tom, I wouldn't exactly say she took after you. <laughs> well, no, I don't reckon she got no whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> You take Kiefer. I want that squealing shoulder by Reagan. When we get around that turn yonder, we'll be inside of the cross. That's right. Only a couple more minutes now, Tom. You know, I'll be waiting to tell me I'm free. That's right. The whole lot of them. Did you get them? I think I did. I ain't sure. So over the other bank. Come up around behind them. I wasn't. You set him on me. I should have cut your throat the first time you come at me like I wanted. Are oh, you crazy, Tom? I was crazy to trust you. I'd be crazy to trust anyone. I thought there was some good people in the world, but they ain't. We can't stay here and talk, Tom. Them Dorsons is coming at us. You know who it is, huh? That proves you sicked him on me. <laughs> it couldn't be nobody else. Jesse Wick must have told him. You mean you told him? They hate me as bad as they do you. I'm your friend, Tom. I swear it. I wouldn't do nothing like this to you. We'll find out. What do you mean? How? We'll prove it. Show yourself to them. Show yourself to them, and if they don't shoot, I'll know you're on their side. You trying to get me killed? I'm trying to find out if there's anyone in the world that can speak the honest truth. You needn't be afraid. They ain't going to shoot at you. Because you're in cahoots with them. Now go on, show yourself. Go on, show yourself. All right, Tom. That's what you think? I'll show you. Him, Tim. We can rush Kiefer. No bit around. Leave something here. Drop a jacket. Look! There are heads under! 
Oh, oh Tim, hurry! Stop thinking, get, get me out of here! here. Tim, hurry! Hurry, Tim! Tim. Oh, here. Hurry! Hold the next button, hang on that gun! Oh, Tim! Tim, I'm staying in the next spot! Hurry! Hurry! Stay out there, Tim! Pull! Oh, pull! You ain't pulling, Tim! Oh, Tim, turn! Don't let me die! Don't let me die! Don't let me die! Your brothers don't understand! Don't let me die, Uncle Manuki! All right, Ben, he ain't gonna do nothing. Get up. Get up! It's too bad about Bud, Tim, but maybe it's better that way. Reckon he won't have to hang anyway. No. Hmm. Don't sound so good to you, does it, Tim? Didn't sound so good to me five years ago when the judge said I had to hang for a murder you and Bud done. And all this time, you've been living free in the outside world, along with all the people. But I never done no murder, Tim, but you sent me in here to live. 700 miles of swamp and wilderness. You're not a human being, but I lived. Maybe you'll be able to live, too, because that's where you're heading right now, Tim. If you can learn to live with cottonmouths and gators and panthers on places where there ain't a solid bit of ground to stand on, well, I reckon you're welcome to your life. Now get going! Remember, if you ever find your way out, Sheriff Jebs are going to be waiting for you with a rope to hang you. Our boats are beyond the ways, Tom. I've been thinking, Ben, maybe you better take me back to my island. Oh, what for, Tom? You're coming with me to your Julie. I ain't sure I can live out there again, and this is my home. Maybe I better make sure Tim Dawson is good and lost it. Oh, you can't do that, Tom. Julie's waiting out there for you, and all the folks you used to know and love. That's them. Come on now, Tom. Julie, you want to see her, don't you? You wouldn't want to hurt her. There they come. There's Julie. Hello! 